Hello, in this video, I'm going to guide you on how to do unit conversion in physics. It sounded quite simple, actually, but due to some callous mistake made by most of the students that causes them to lose a lot of mark at the end of the time, that make them not scoring that well in physics, is due to one of the basic mistakes that they make, unit conversion. So I, in this video, I'm going to also tell you what are you supposed to be aware of what are the things that, what are the units that you need to, like the, the conversion of the units that are very popular and how to do it step by step. So please stay tuned. Now, first of all, these are the very simple or very, very common question that you would see, right? Convert two mm to cm, sounds easy. Convert two meter to cm, sounds easy as well. Convert two cm square to meter square, sounds easy enough. Convert 50 kilometer per hour to meter per second, it's also not that hard. But how come most of the students make careless mistake in this kind of conversion? I am going to talk about that in this video. So make sure that you stay until the end of the video. Now, before I got you on the unit conversion, first of all, you need to understand certain relationships. These are like math, a little bit of math here. So you need to know that how to convert one meter to cm. One meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So if you want to convert centimeter to meter, you have to divide 100. So one cm, is equal to one over 100 meter. That's how you do it. It is just like invert of multiplication. So meter convert to cm, you just multiply by 100. But from cm, you want to convert to meter, you divide by 100 because it is getting smaller. So one cm is equal to 10 mm. Therefore, one mm is equal to one over 10 cm. <laughs> One kilometer is equal to 1,000 meter. That is why one meter is equal to one divided by 1,000 kilometer. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. Everybody knows that, right? I hope that everybody is being aware with the minutes conversion to hour conversion. So that is why one minute is equal to one divided by 60 hour. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. So therefore, one second is equal to one over 60 minutes. So you just divide. But how to convert from one hour to second? Okay, simple thing that you, you can do right here is that you just convert one hour to minute first. You just take one times 60. That is how you convert hour to minute. And then you just times another 60. You convert minute to second. So one hour is basically equals to 3,600 seconds. So these are all the important relationships that you should be aware and you should memorize in a way. Now let us get started with some of the questions here to make you understand better. There are two methods of doing this and I'm going to guide you on two methods. Uh, so it depends on which method that you think that is easier for you to follow. Right, now the first one, write 30 kilometer in meter. So how do you do about that? First of all, you just list out the relationship between kilometer and meter. So just write down, oh, one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meter. Therefore, 30 kilometer is equal to, have you ever been taught about cross multiplication in mathematics? So this is how we do it. We just cross multiply. So it is 30 times 1,000. So therefore, you get 30,000 meter. That's the answer. That is using the math method to do this. But we have physics method to do this as well. You heard about prefixes. Yeah, Prefixes. This is the word prefixes. Prefixes is used to denote a very, very super duper large number and a very, very super duper small number in order of the multiple of 10. So 
kilo. Kilo is one of the prefixes. This is how you want to solve it using physics method. So I put 30 kilometer is equal to 30. Kilo is one of the prefixes, which carries the value of 1 times 10 to the power of 3 times. Okay, so this kilo, you can replace it with 10 to the power of 3. Just put meter and that's your answer. Uh, so actually using prefixes to solve it is easier, way easier. So it's actually depending on you, which method you prefer. Nobody say that this method is correct and that method is wrong. Both methods give you the same answer at the end of the time. Now the next one, convert 40 cm square to meter square. First of all, when you see square value, this is where the callous mistakes comes in. First of all, most of the students, they actually know, okay, 1 cm is equal to 1 over 100 meter. That is super duper good. But they forgot about the square thingy. So 1 cm square, I just ignore the 40 first. I just put 1 cm first. 1 cm square, it means the whole 1, okay, the whole cm is being squared. Uh, so 1 cm square, it also means that because 1 cm is equal to 1 over 100 meter, so it also means that 1 times 1 over 100, oh, sorry, this is 100, 1 over 100 uh, meter, you have to square the whole thing. So it actually means that 1 times 1 over, when this 100 you square it, you just x. You just add extra two zeros here. That will give you this value. This is the relationship between cm square and meter square. So you have to be aware of this. Uh, if you want to ignore the one, it's just multiple um, multiplication of one times one over ten thousand, right? Meter square. So you ignore the one. No problem with that. Now, since I have the relationship, that is why each and every time, if you want to use the math method, you have to come up with the relationship between cm square and m square first. And now I can put in my number. So my number is 40 cm square is equal to 40 times 1 over 10,000. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 meter square. So you get an answer. Cancel the zero. It is four divided by 1,000. So it is 0 0.004. One, two, three meters square. That's your answer. But if you want to use the physics method, this is how you do it. Just write 40, okay, cm square. You just square the whole thing. So c is one of the prefixes. I will highlight this which carries the value of multiple, uh, multiple of 10 to the power of negative 2. So it is actually uh, cm square. That means 40 c square m square. Remember that. Uh, so this is 40. C is 10 to the power of negative 2, but you have to square the whole c because this is cm square, meaning to say that that's c square m square. So m, you square it. So you have 40 times 10 to the power of negative 2, you square it, you get negative 4. So meter square, done. That's the answer. So whenever you convert it, if you want to convert this to the standard form, or you want to convert it into the same answer as mine, you can do that. How do you do that? You just shift the 0 to the back. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I get the same answer. 40 times 10 to the power of negative 4, meter square. So that's the answer. Now, the next one, convert 20 cm cube to meter cube. So if you want to try it on your own, that is a very good. I strongly suggest that, that you try it yourself first. Feel free to pause the video at any moment, right? So you try it first, and after that, play back the video to check whether you get the correct concept, whether you get the correct answer. If you get the correct answer, congratulations. That means you master your unit conversion very well. How about that? So now let me do this. So um, the first method is I have to come up the, with the relationship between cm and meter. So 1 cm is equal to 1 over 100 meter. That is the relationship between cm and meter. The problem now is I need cm cubed. 
So I have to cube the whole thing. So cm cube, 1 cm cube, meaning to say that 1 over 100 meter, you have to cube the whole thing. Therefore, 1 cm cube is equal to, you just add 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 meter cube. That's the relationship. Now, since you come up with the relationship, here, you can easily just put in the numbers here. So the number is 20 cm cube. So 20 cm cube, you just take 20 times 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 meter cube. You know why? I have a problem in writing like so many zeros here, and I want to avoid making that callous mistake. So I just put, um, yeah, I, I would just put it in the standard form. 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. So now the my answer is 20 times 10 to the power of uh, negative 6 meter cube. Or you can put it in yeah your standard form, 2.0 maybe, or 2 times 10 to the power of, you shift 1, 0, you shift the decimal point. But if you want to leave your answer like this, okay, you feel free to leave your answer like this. It doesn't matter. So this is what given by the calculator, 20 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So that's my answer. The other way to do it by using the prefixes is that, okay, you just put in 20 cm, 20 you just ignore first, cm cube is equal to 20 times the whole cm, you have to cube it. Cm cube meaning to say that whole cm, you cube it. So you have 20, c is 10 to the power negative two, and then meter, you just put meter, and then close the bracket and then just cube it. So 20, 10 to the power of negative two, uh, sorry, this is multiply. Multiply by uh, multiply 10 to the power negative 2, you cube it, you get multiply by 10 to the power negative 6. Meter, you cube it, you get meter cube. So that is how you get your answer. Now, what about this? Convert 50 mm square to meter square. Like what I say, you need to come up with the relationship first if you want to follow the math method. So the relationship is... Mm, one millimeter is equal to one over one, two, three, 1,000 meter. Therefore, one millimeter square is equal to the bracket, the whole thing, 1,000. And together with the meter, you have to square it. So when you square it, one, two, three, four, five, six, you can use your calculator. Feel free to do so. Millimeter square. Now, since we come up with the relationship, one millimeter square is equal to one over one, two, three, four, five, six, six zero meter cube. So you come up with a relationship, it is easier, then you can put in the number given here. So 50 mm square is equal to 50 times one over one, two, three, four, five, six meter cube. That is why you have 50 times 10 to the power negative six meter cube. So we are done. And if you want to use the prefixes method, so you have to do like this, 50 millimeter square is equal to 50 times millimeter, the whole thing you have to square it. 50 times milli is one of the prefixes which carries the value of 10 to the power negative three, and then you meter, you have to square it. Therefore, this is 10 to the power negative three, when you square it, you just multiply the power. So you get 10 to the power negative 6 meter square. Same answer. Oh, I'm sorry. This is meter square. Okay. Please change it to meter square. It's not meter cube. Do you get the correct answer? I hope you get the correct answer. So the other one. Okay. Try more. More exercises means good thing. Practice makes perfect. Don't you think so? Now, math method, you have to come up with the relationship. Remember? Feel free to pause this. Try this on your own. One millimeter is equal to one over 1,000 meter. So this is one millimeter cube. Remember cube, you have to put one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three meter. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to put the cube thing. Okay, I skipped the step. I'm so sorry. So I just put one millimeter cube is actually one over bracket 1000 meter, you cube it. So one millimeter cube is equal to one over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine meter cube. So since you get the relationship, so this is a relationship that I would like to highlight. Therefore, you can just put in your number. So we'll, 
100 millimeter cube is equal to 100 times 1 over not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 meter cube. So you get 100 times 10 to the power negative 9 meter cube. If you don't know how to solve this, type everything to your calculator. Let your calculator handle that. You see, if I type it, um, so your answer would be 100 times 10 to the power negative 9 meter cube. Right. So if you don't want to use uh, the math method because you think that working is a, a bit longer, you can actually choose to use prefix. Right. So you know that 100 millimeters cube is equal to 100 multiplies by millimeter, the whole thing, you keep it. So 100, just a number, just ignore it. But milli is one of the prefixes, which is 10 to the power negative three, negative three. So meter, bracket, cubit. You know that when there's a power thingy, when you cubit, you just multiply. Negative 3 multiplies by 3, you get 10 to the power negative 9. And meter, you cubit, you get meter cubed. So that's the answer. Now, okay, the other conversion is about the time conversion. Convert to hours to second. First of all, come up with the relationship. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. So one hour is equal to 60 minutes times 60 seconds, which is equal to 3600, 0, 3600 seconds. That is the relationship between hour and second. So highlight this. So since I get the relationship, this is about two hours. Just put two hours is equal to 2 times 3600 0, 0 second. So 2 times 3600, 0, 0, and your answer is 7200 second. That's the answer. The other one is very famous. Convert 500 kilometer per hour to meter per second. Wow, this one, like this type of question, I would strongly suggest you to do one by one. So I will write down 500 kilometer per hour, just like that. First of all, 500, this is kilo. One kilo, you have to understand, one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meter. Come up with the relationship between kilometer and meter first. So I have 500 kilometer, which is equal to 500 times 1,000 then only you can convert to meter. So 500 times 1,000 meter, one hour, you have 60 minutes, one minute, 60 seconds. So you convert it to second. All you need to do now, just put it into your calculator. You let your calculator do the work, does the work. So the answer is 139 meter per second, just like that. Now, that is all for a unit conversion, but if you feel that you are still um, confused on how to convert this unit and uh, from this unit to the other unit, you could always comment below. And if you find that this video is useful, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. But if you face any difficulties in any physics related questions and you would like me to do a YouTube video just for you, please feel free to comment below as well. And these are all my other channels which you can join as well. This is my TikTok channel, my Instagram channel, uh, and I will also strongly suggest you to join my Facebook group channel because this Facebook group is specially created to the students worldwide. And I posted some important facts and how do you study physics well? How do you memorize physics facts well? And how do you do well in physics and not failing in physics? So please join the group for your own benefit. So I will see you again in the next video. Bye.